Okay, I definitely have some final words to say. Um, I just had a great time um, this evening playing this with you, but let's talk about this real quickly. And it's, again, this is not very hard. Um, so that would wrap up the hero phase. You know, we did some chamber combat. We did the guardian fight that was really good. You know, you saw how a special ability works. So after the hero phase, it goes into the monster phase. And this is when the monsters are going to attack. So let's take a look at Banevik's card. Let me explain to you about the target priority box and counterattack. Very simple stuff. Um, when I when I program the AI, because you know me, I'm all about solo gaming and co-op, the co-op crowd. When I programmed the monsters AI, I programmed the programmed it in a way that they're going to go after the hero they're going to do the most damage to. Okay, I mean, this is a very challenging game. So notice right here this box. And this is what I call the target priority box. There's a C3, C2, C1. If we look at, let's get face hero card. And all of them have this. You're going to notice um, right here, CR3. That stands for class rating. So like Maheliak and Sir Brennus that you saw, they're a class one hero, CR1. Um, Enwin, our archer, and Paloom, those are class two heroes, CR2. Wi our wizard hero, Zeke, and Faith are known as class three, CR3. It's just, it's just the system that I, that I created for the target priority. So let's, now that you know that, let's look over here at Bainvik's monster card and his target priority. So this is like, this is him telling you, okay, I'm gonna attack a class three hero first. If I can't find a class three, I'm gonna attack a class two, and then finally a class one. Because remember, remember Mahaliak? He is strong in chaos warfare and physical. So Bainvik, kind of his brain tells him, well, I'm not gonna attack him because he can probably do damage to me. I'm gonna go after the weakest of the heroes so I could damage them. That's simply how that's that's how it works. It's it's a very simple system, but wow, it's effective and it's it's very challenging. It can be very tough. So basically, what happens is we're gonna look, and I, I don't want to zoom you back in there because I pulled those, you know, Bainvik and Faith out to show you this. But you know, there was Maheliak was over there, a class one hero, class CR one. Enwin was there, class rating two, and then we had Faith, who is a class three rating right here so bane and you and banevik was right by her so you know that he is going to attack faith because what i just explained to you about the class with the target priority box very easy to understand so we'll wrap up with this what happens what happens when a, a, say a guardian attacks that hero what you're going to have to do is remember your battle tokens for the phases, there's going to be three um, phases, just like we saw, but it's only for that hero. You have to defend against all three. Yes, you heard that right. Phase one, phase two, phase three. And the revised combat is going to work just like we saw. But now you're going to have to hopefully meet or exceed those values to defend against Bainvik. However, there, there is hope. Every hero has counterattack. And quite simply, what this does is you're allowed to select, if you activate, you have to activate it for one essence, see, and you can only use it in the dungeon. But what this will allow Faith to do is if she activates this, she can select one of those three phases to, to counterattack Bainvik. See how that works? It's very easy. So it's a chance for the hero to put some damage on you know, back on the Guardian. So, for example, if say she had Mallory's Golden Bow, she would definitely try to counterattack using this because she could possibly put two damage on Bainvik. So that's simply how it works. So in if we would have kept going, Bainvik would have attacked Faith because she's a Class 3 hero, according to his target priority box. She's just going to take these three. She's going to have to defend if she wants to counterattack, she pays one essence, and then she can select one of those phases to attack in. But then, of course, she'll have to defend in the other two. And it works just the same way. You shuffle them, pull one, roll the dice, clear it, pull the second, you know, for phase two, the next warfare token, roll the dice. 
so on and so forth. That's the revised combat system. And again, it's fun, streamlined, thematic, and it fits Dungeon Crusade absolutely perfectly. Okay, guys, and this does it for um, the revised combat system. And I have to say, it did run longer, but man, I just love hanging out with you. I loved playing this game tonight. I think you could hear just how excited I was. And I, I, just, I just love this game because there's just... There's nothing quite like this and just all of the options and how the dungeon unfolds. You know, every turn, there's something new that's, that you wouldn't expect. And of course, I want to say thank you to our cast tonight of our cool um, D&D mini line who helped us out with that. Um, that was fun using that um, battle board with them. So, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing like a visual representation of, you know, this. Um, and it just, I hopefully you can see how chamber combat works now with this kind of zoomed in view. And again, you could use this for those, those chamber battles if you want. If you want to make it more thematic, hey, go for it. Um, also, this leads me to something very exciting to tell you, a surprise. Due to the revised combat, there is a new game mode that is coming. And I'm going to put a video together. And this has been requested for years. Um, now with how the combat works, as you saw, how a hero can just attack in those um, different phases, this combat, this mode that's coming is something you're going to love. I'll leave it a surprise and I'm just going to put it up. I'm going to create the video and explain how to do it. If you have the game now, you can, of course, start using this. So later this week, expect to see a brand new game mode in Dungeon Crusade that has been highly, highly requested. And I'll leave you with that. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you loved it. It was a little long, but I was having a good time. And I think I deserve that because I've been putting a lot of hours in. Um, if you have any questions, oh, just let me know. I love talking to you guys in the comments section. I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for more Dungeon Crusade because there's a lot of stuff on the way. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.